Good morning, everybody. I'm your host, the Supreme Litigant, and I am back. Before I begin, I just want to start off by telling everybody thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for the questions. I really appreciate that, and thank you for the um, uh, the questions on Blog Talk Radio as well. Um, the title of this video is called The State is a Person. Okay. Um, so for let me let me just uh, be uh, brief and clear as I can. Okay. Uh, for example, under one act of Congress, a state is considered a person. However, under another act of Congress, a state may not be considered a person. So I just want y'all to pay attention to that because here's one right here where it clearly states, um, <clears throat> what is it? Uh, uh, yeah, it clearly states, pursuant to this statute right here, that the state is a person, pursuant to this statute right here. However, uh, the state is not considered a person uh, pursuant to 42 section 1983, which is um, the civil rights lawsuits. So the state is not considered a person pursuant to that statute. Okay. Um, so I, hopefully that, you know, that, that clears, clears that, that area, like I just said, and this applies to the state too. Like for example, um, under one act, you know, of your state legislatures, the state would be considered a person. Uh, however, under another act of your state legislature, the state may not be considered a person. So you really just have to read the, um, I would read cases unless the act clearly, um, clearly uh, shows that the state is a person, you know, that's what I would do. I would read cases unless the act, you know, showed that. But um, I want y'all to understand something else, okay? These are corporations that you are dealing with, okay? They have dual capacities. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about. Let me see, let me pull up these cases. They have dual capacities, okay? So dual means uh, two, and I mean when I say dual, I mean D U A L. They have dual capacities, okay? So uh, they have a sovereign capacity, and they have a corporate capacity, okay? And any time the state is acting in its corporate capacity, they are no different than a private citizen. Contract and you know uh, engaging into contracts. They are no different than a private citizen. Okay, y'all need to understand that. For example, when you post an appeal bond, that is a contract. An appeal bond is a contract. When you enter into a, a guilty plea, you know you sign this plea agreement and all that stuff. That is a contract. Okay, because the state is doing business with you in its corporate capacity. This is what happens. Say you, we're gonna say you uh, you run a stop sign or something like that. And uh, you know, one of the state's uh, agents, its officers, it pulls you over. You know, one of the police officers, they pull you over and then you get a, a traffic citation or something like that. That is a lawsuit. They are filing quasi-criminal charges against you in their corporate capacity. They are suing you for breach of public policy. So when they bring these charges against you, they're not bringing these charges against you in their sovereign capacity. They can't do that because they are not, you are sovereign. They are not sovereign. They can't do that. So when they bring these quasi-criminal charges against you, they are um, doing it in their corporate capacity and they are alleging that you breached their policy, their corporate policy. Do y'all see what I'm saying? It's no different than Walmart. Like if you work at Walmart and, um, you know, uh, Walmart is, they, they, you know, if you work there and you're an employee, they have a right to enforce their policy on you. Okay. So it seems to me that there is a presumption that you are an employee of the state in its corporate capacity because they are enforcing corporate policy on you. That is a lawsuit. They are filing lawsuits against you. And I'm going to show you the case um, that supports uh, that contention that I just made. 
But let me read y'all this first if y'all haven't read it already. This is what we're going to focus on right here. The state, in all its contracts and dealings with individuals, must be adjudged and abide by the rules which govern in determining the rights of private citizens contracting and dealing with each other. There is not one law for the sovereign and another for the subject, but when the sovereign engages in business and the conduct of business enterprises and contracts with individuals, although an action may not lie against the sovereign for a breach of the contract, whenever the contract in any form comes before the courts, the rights and obligations of the contracting parties must be adjusted upon the same principles as if both contracting parties were private persons. They are suing you. That is a lawsuit. They are suing you. They are engaging in business with you. That is what they are doing. There's the case citation right there. Y'all can go and read it for yourself. Uh, this does not just apply in Alabama. That is a principle. Do y'all see where it says the same principles? That's a principle. That applies everywhere. Everywhere. Now, let me go down a little bit more. I'm going to see if I can find it right quick. And I, and I just told y'all that they are corporations, okay? They are corporations. So let me find this other one right quick. I, don't, I hope I didn't skip it already. There it is right there. A corporation is an entity created by compliance with statutory requirements. A corporation has the right to sue and be sued just like a natural person. Okay, A corporation, just like an individual, must enforce its own rights and privileges. That's why they're suing you. Because they that, that's public. That's the public's right. The public has rights too, just like Yusuf says. Yusuf ain't lying. Yusuf know what he's talking about. Shout out to Yusuf L, by the way. If you haven't subscribed to his channel, go ahead and subscribe to uh, High Frequency Radio, radio on uh, YouTube, because Yusuf knows what he is talking about. I'm showing y'all the cases. I'm going to do another video today to prove to you that they are corporations. I'm going to go and look up their Dunn's number on Dunn and Bradstreet, and I'm going to show you that these so-called state of, city of, town of, United States, whatever, they are corporations. Corporations. They have dual capacities. Dual capacities. That is what they have. Hopefully, this helped y'all out. Okay. Hopefully. Um, that will be the end of this video. Hope everybody enjoys their day. Uh, if, if, if you didn't understand what I was trying to get y'all to understand in this video, please comment below and just let me know. And I'll do my best to try to decipher it into a way that you can understand it. OK. That will be it. Everybody enjoy your day. The Supreme Litigate is out. Peace.